Hi guys, today we are going to learn about the lambda function and the higher order function in Kotlin. So basically lambda functions are the functions which has no name and they are lambdas are basically defined with the curly braces and they take variable as a parameter if there are any and body of the function. So let's start with an example. So basically I, ha I have written as like well we have to define the lambda name, the name of the variable then it will take as uh, the input, uh, whatever input we have uh, like integer strings whatever we want then we will define the return type of the function then we have the body of the function so let's start. We have like let me give it a name sum I am giving the name and then I have input for sum I want to take the two input integer 1 and integer 2 then I have the to define the return type uh, I, I can take as unit or I want a return type of as integer so I am taking it as like this then I have to define the body right so um, we have basically given the two inputs so it will give me the two outputs a and b I am taking here and now let's okay so what it will give me a I want the return as a plus b okay so here it is and if now I want to see it works or not then I will try print heaven and I'm calling it as sum and then I have to uh, pass the two variables two and four and let's try run try running it and wait for a minute uh, not a minute sorry it okay see here it returns me at six so this is how you can define a lambda function and you can use it wherever you want println is a function println uh, is a normal uh, function we have and we uh, basically we can be pass here as the this function here so okay um, basically we pass this as a variable like this function has no name and we have defined it another thing another way we can if we want to use it we can use it like uh, if I don't want any return type then let me try normal print name and it is having a string as input and it will return me nothing so I am taking a unit and sorry and let's try with equals and here I want to okay it will give me it so I am defining it uh, like this it I can use directly or I can define the name so I am using it and now I want to use it print name and I am passing Android as the parameter and let's try running it so it will give me it will print the Android so this is how you want you can use here it is it has printed the Android so this is how you can define a lambda function and it will uh, its print type is unit and the same way if you want to define the higher order function the basically the higher order function are the functions which take the uh, fun uh, another function as a parameter and they can, we can use the we can pass the parameter and we can also uh, get a callback from them so here I am defining a test uh, function and here I am def I am defining a first variable as integer then B as integer and third parameter I am defining here as a function so we can use it like this and return type is unit and here uh, so I have sending a function here you know, which is sum and uh, there is it's uh, return type is unit so here I what I want to return from here is sum and here I am returning in it okay so some i have to define a parameter so, so here i am defining it as int so if you want to perform any operation here you can do like i am uh, just doing a sum of a and b and so when i'm going to call this function i have i can do it like this uh, here i can pass three and second parameter is four okay and third parameter we can define it like this but uh, our id gives us like the in higher order functions lambdas can be moved uh, should be moved out of parenthesis so here I, I can this is how I can use it like this and okay 
so it will return me the sum of two so let me try it print and i'm again using it eight. so this is how these are this test is called as a higher order function because this takes another function as a parameter and basically i am performing some operation and giving it the call back again so when i try to run it it should give me the three plus four and it should print uh, yeah this is how it works so uh, guys this is how we can define lambda and this is how we can define a higher order function and we can use it so that's it for today guys do let me know if you want to make me some more videos on kotlin and thanks do like comment and subscribe